in order to solve a quadratic equation uh, in the 10th standard syllabus there are three methods one is the factorization the another is completing the square third one we have the quadratic formula okay all of them serve the same purpose of solving a quadratic equation but why did the syllabus give us the three different methods right let us do a third experiment when we were kids uh, we rode bicycle then we purchased a motorcycle then as we grew richer and older we bought a car right what's the purpose of all of them navigation all of them navigate but each one of them have their own purpose and have their own drawbacks that's why the letter were invented right and out of these three we say car is exceptional right it's faster it can carry more people what else it can protect us from the weather so this are all timeline this was when we were kids when the middle age youth older and richer right yeah rich you have to be rich so the same thing happened factorization was first invented to solve quadratic equations then there were a few drawbacks so they invented completing the square i just write short forms here so that i don't take more time then we have quadratic formula factorization had a drawback let's suppose the roots of the quadratic equation were 1.75 and 4.25 okay a fraction uh, when we are doing factorization we take a plus b should give me something and a into b should give me something would we ever think my a and b could be in fractions that is 1.75 and 4.25 no when you factorize we always end up with an integer like 1 comma 4 or you know minus 7 comma 2 something like that. any integer or even uh, both of them are minus right minus 2 comma minus 5 right this can happen but your factorization cannot find roots if they are in fractions fractions first thing to take a lot of time it's difficult to factorize it's difficult to factorize if roots were fractions completing the square you know it could solve anything uh, there would be a fraction it would be an integer anything so why did they invent quadratic formula see completing the square also takes some amount of time but it gives a right answer quadratic formula was the latest and it was the gold it was derived from completing squares essentially the advantages of quadratic formula were one it was faster it took less time and second one solves even if roots are fractions or we could say a real number yes or any complex numbers in the exam if they don't specify which method to use i would always suggest you to use quadratic formula because you would always end up with the right answer and it's faster as well 